everybody. Here we are on our mats, but probably secretly wishing that we were on the reformer. So let's play a little make-believe today and do some reformer on the mats. All right, so let's do some standing roll downs just to get started. Go ahead and bring yourself to um, about six bones distance apart with your feet. Maybe rock forwards and back a little bit to find your foot centers. And then let's just settle. From here, take a nice big inhale, grow taller through the crown of your head. On your exhale breath, let's go ahead and roll down to the floor piece by piece. Soften those knees as needed. These are early movements. Take a breath through the back and side ribs and then exhale breath. Let's start to build ourselves back up, pressing the feet firmly into the mat, feeling hamstrings and abdominals lifting. Inhale, we grow a little taller. And exhale, let's take that roll down. Feeling yourself gradually roll one bone to the next. Another deep breath. And then exhale breath brings us back up. Nice, firm pressure from heels to toes. Soften your shoulders, take a breath. Last one here, rolling down. Breathing in and exhale, lifting ourselves back up. and rolling those shoulders, relaxing your neck. And let's prepare for some footwork. I'll probably stand um, so that you can see my profile, but here's just a, a forward shot. So you wanna find a nice parallel. And we're gonna have to pitch our weight forward slightly here, but we'll do our best to pretend. So here we go. Let's pretend that those heels are on the foot bar. And we'll bring the arms forward for a little bit of counterweight. So we'll take an inhale breath and sink down. And then exhale, really find the emphasis through your heels right now. Inhale on the way down. Even if you feel like maybe you can lighten up on the toes slightly and flex them up off the mat. We're gonna do about five reps. So we've got two more. Inhale, exhale, pushing through the heels, trying to find the glutes. Good, inhale, and exhale, broad across the chest, okay? So the next thing I want you to do is just lift the toes up slightly. Ooh, not the toes, the heels. Lift the heels up slightly, okay? We're not in stilettos here. And arms are coming forwards again for that counterbalance. We're gonna inhale and find that squat. Exhale, breath, come up. Good, inhale, here we go. Think about spreading the toes apart and feeling pressure through the ball of the foot and the big toe. Let's do two more. Inhale down, exhale up. Exhale on the exertion one more time. Inhale and exhale. Woo! Okay, so facing forwards again, just to show you our little Pilates V. So we're not in a big turnout here. We're just gonna find that little pizza shape. And we're gonna try once again to elevate the heels off the floor. If you don't feel safe doing that, no problem. Just keep the heels down. So here we go again, squeezing the heels together. Find that little lift, and if your heels come apart, make sure that you squeeze them back together again. Inhale, breath, we drop down. Exhale, let's really pull up the midline. Inhale, drop, and exhale. And three, squeezing those inner thighs, tightening the abdominals, and four, Alright, heels get to come to the floor for a set now. 
So you're gonna take that wider stance. Think about bringing your heels out to the wide edges of your foot bar. Just, again, play make-believe here. Try to feel those springs working. We take an inhale breath, emphasizing the heel connection again. Exhale breath, press up. Inhale, exhale. Feeling those abdominals pulled upwards and inwards. Keep elongating your spine as you come back to standing. Two more. And last one. Okay, so we're gonna lift those heels again. Stay in your wide stance, nothing changes. Lifting heels now, and we can go to that image of squeezing a big beach ball between the heels, just like we do on the reformer. Let's take that inhale breath as we lower down. Try to find your balance. Again, think about spreading the toes and feeling the ball of the foot and the big toe connection. Notice if you're rolling out onto your edges. And try to find some symmetry in your feet. Two more. Last one. Good. And then the heels come to the floor. Let's shake out any tension that we've built up. Maybe roll the shoulders back a little bit here. And then coming back to that sits bones distance apart, we're going to work into our calf raises just from a standing perspective today. So we're lifting on the exhale. And then I want you to try to just control the way down so that you don't feel like you're dropping and letting gravity do the work for you. Instead, slow it down and really try to feel all those little nooks and crannies in the feet and the ankles engaging. We're still trying to build up nicely through that spine, feeling length. Try to put that head over your shoulders. If you notice you're starting to tip forwards a little bit here. And just again, it's that ball of the foot, big toe connection that really does help us balance. So firm into that. Maybe that's 10, let's just say it is. And then let's start to prance. So we're gonna do 20. With your prances, still think about that really nice level hip line. So we're not sassy here, right? We're gonna come up high onto the toes and we wanna really try to work that connection through ankles, knees, and hips without feeling like we're rotating or hiking the hips. So you can give yourself that tactile feedback just by putting the hands right there on the pelvis and noticing if you're getting a little bit wobbly. Trying to, again, feel that symmetry through the feet Relaxing shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and make that our last one. It's sad we don't have our foot bar for our stretch and hold, but why don't we just take a step forwards with the right foot and lunge into it so that we can really drive that back heel down into the floor and feel that calf stretch a little bit. There's a chance we're all feeling a little tight these days. That can just be from lack of our regular movements or maybe from just a little bit of stress. And so it's good to be here sort of together. All right. So we've got both sides stretched. And let's just do a couple more roll downs just to lengthen out the hamstrings before we come down onto the floor for our ab work, okay? So again, we're just finding um, sits bones or hip distance apart, nice firm feet, breathe in, and exhale breath, let's roll it down. Maybe we have a little bit more length in our bodies now that we're warmer. Maybe you don't need to bend the knees. And rolling it down. Inhale, exhale, lift us up. Last one. Breathing in, growing taller. Good stuff. Roll it down. Let's stay here for just an extra breath. Letting everything hang heavy. 
and bringing it back up so that we can then bring our bodies down. Let's come down to the mat and let's settle back. Pretend you're on your carriage and pretend you're putting those straps into your hands. So we'll just reach straight up to the ceiling and bring those legs to a nice tabletop. Parallel shins to the floor, feel the shoulders wrap back into your frame. And on your exhale breath, let's just go ahead and do a little hundred prep. We curl forwards and we extend the legs to your desired height. Remember the lower you go, the harder it is. You could opt to keep the legs in tabletop. You could even opt to leave the head, neck and chest down and just work through the arms and the legs. Okay, let's do two more of your choice. Exhale, curling forwards. You know you get to choose your own adventures a little bit here. And again, exhale, feeling those ribs knit and glide forwards. And inhale, bringing it back. Let's hug the knees into the chest, give ourselves a little rock from side to side. And then let's take it into some coordination. So arms are reaching to the ceiling, legs come back to that nice tabletop choose to curl forwards or not here. I'll cue it, you take or leave it. Exhale, breath, let's go up, extend, nice, sharp, concise, open, close, bend the knees, and we roll the spine back with control. Exhale, breath, curling forwards, drawing down through the abdominal wall, bend the knees, and roll it back. And again, reaching through, open, close, can open close about as wide as your mat. It doesn't have to be a big split here. Reach, open, close, bend the knees, and roll back one more time. Soft shoulders. Let's be broad across that chest as we come up. Open, close, bend the knees, and roll it back again. Draw those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then let's place the feet down on our imaginary foot bar for some bottom lift. With our exhale breath, we're gonna curl that pelvis up off the floor. So feeling that pubic bone draw towards the navel and we lift, trying to make that nice straight line from shoulders through the tops of the knees, breathing in, feeling length and exhale breath. Let's roll it down one notch at a time. Taking the time to find your neutral pelvis at the bottom. And again, inhale for pause, exhale breath for movement. Let's curl up one notch at a time. Breathing in as we elongate the spine. Feel all points of the feet pressing into your mat here. Big toe, little toe, and heel. Let's go for a couple more. Scoop and lift. Make sure not to flare the rib cage so we have a nice balance from front and back side of the body. Triceps are pressing firmly into the mat, feeling the way that this can also be a chest opener. Let's stay at the top here. And though we cannot extend our carriages, we can pulse. So let's just go ahead and feel that squeeze through the glutes as we lift the hips. It's not a bounce, it's controlled. Let's exhale as we press up, inhale as we just drop an inch or so. Almost there. And then let's start to massage that back down into the mat. And settle the pelvis. Good. Let's take the arms wide just to encourage an open chest. Um, similar to holding our pegs in our reformer classes and bring those legs up to tabletop for a little bit of supine twist. We're gonna inhale to the right, knees and feet on the same plane, feeling the rotation from your waistline. Exhale breath to cinch the waist and come to center. And inhale to the left, exhale back. Not gonna lie, feeling a little tight today. I've been missing my Pilates too. It's been kind of a long, busy week. Exhale, so it feels good to be here. Inhale over. Exhale, wrap that waistline. 
Try not to use the leverage of the arms pressing into the floor. We don't wanna let momentum get control. Exhale of our movement, one more to the left. Inhale over and exhaling to our center. And then again, let's draw those knees in. All right. So if we could pretend to put our feet in the straps, that's what we'll do, okay? So let's just, again, plain make-believe and doing some hip work. We're gonna bring ourselves up to frog position. So I wanna make sure that you have that nice wide position of the knees about shoulder distance apart, um, heels together, toes apart in your V. Arms are long down your sides. You're gonna feel that your straps are actually your friend on this exercise. So as we frog forwards, we're gonna feel a lot of ab work. If you start to feel that lower back arching away from the mat, you can consider pressing higher in your frog. And if you're wanting more difficulty, think about going lower. So we're squeezing the heels together. We're really trying to hold that spine in a healthy neutral, keeping the tension out of the face, neck, and chest. Exhale out. Inhale back. Do about three more. The more you squeeze those heels together, the more you're gonna feel this. Really important to feel those abdominal, abdominals engaged. And maybe when you do come back and you get back on your reformer, you'll be better connected into your abs on this work. Take the legs up to the ceiling, grab onto the backs of the thighs and just give yourself a nice stretch. Maybe you point and flex the feet a little bit here. Okay, and then leg circle. So same feeling, lots of ab work when we don't have our feet in the strap. So take the first one kind of as a test run in terms of how far down you want to reach. You can make these nice and small. Let's think about just that nice glide through the hip socket and a stable base of the pelvis to work from. So we really have to kind of find that separation of the legs from the rest of the body. So if you start to feel the back kind of arching and tucking, ribs flare, things like that, then you're gonna need to make these a little smaller. I'm taking it kind of slow today. I haven't gotten a lot of workout in lately. Do a couple more and guessing we're around 10 and let's go the other way so circling softly pointed toes trying not to grip our mats keep it going just nice steady breath exhale brings those legs together inhale pulls them up Do two more. And last one. Good. And hugging those knees in. Little rock from side to side. Let's let that left leg just stretch out long and take the right leg up, grabbing onto the back of the thigh. Once again, let's just take it slightly across the midline just to feel that little stretch up the IT band. Support the leg as you take it out just a little bit to the right, not as far as we would if our foot was in the strap. And then let's go ahead and cross that right ankle over the left thigh and give ourselves a little hip stretch. And let's do that on the other side. So right leg comes long, left leg is reaching. Let's cross over the midline just slightly, trying not to lift the hip off the mat and take it out nice and wide. And then we'll cross the left ankle over the right thigh. All right, let's rock ourselves up to a seated position here. Just maybe take a couple rocks 
sit like rolling like a ball and then we'll come up to seated and we're gonna move into some arm work here you're gonna notice that a lot of this just feels like ab work um, because we don't have the um, shoulder blocks and the straps to support us and so that's good though we're focusing on the core we're getting stronger um, we're going to think about a wide chest expansion, so I'm going to have you take the arms wide so that they're just hovering off the floor and really sit up as tall as you can, like you're up against a high back chair. Maybe you squeeze the glutes a little. If you're tight in your hamstrings or lower back, just go ahead and bend the knees slightly. And let's use that exhale breath to push back. So we're trying to think about backs of arms, backs of shoulders. As you press the arms back behind you, the goal is the same, not to push the rib cage forwards. So we're keeping a nice stacked position of pelvis, ribs, shoulders, and head. Exhale, press back. Feeling those upper back muscles engaging. Good, and then let's just take a little roll of the shoulders, shaking tension out of the neck and moving into our bicep curls. Let's go ahead and curl and think about actively engaging that bicep. And then let's move into our half roll back. So you're gonna think about that scoop of the belly. Find a place where you can hold that and feel the contraction of the abdominals. And we're inhaling to reach and exhaling to curl. Now I know we're not pulling against any spring here, but you can still activate your bicep. Just think hard about it. Find that little squeeze as you pull the hands towards the face. Maybe you curl a little deeper towards that waistband. A couple more. And then up we go. Little shoulder roll in between. And then let's go for rhomboid. So we'll think about those upper back muscles, again, that space between the shoulder blades, exhaling to wrap the elbows back, inhaling to come back to center. Um, by the way, I turn to face you just so you can see what I'm doing, but you can stay in that same um, seated position that you were in. Okay, and I'll get back there. Open, close. Another place where we're trying not to pop the ribs forwards as the arms wrap back. So draw the abdominals in, elongate yourself, feel that decompression of the spine as you're working. Good. And then little roll of the shoulders, shake it out. From here, let's just move into a little rotation. Let's pretend we walked our hands up our ropes above the knots and on the exhale breath, we're gonna reach longer through the left arm as we pull back through the right elbow and then coming back to center, we're finding a partnership of the waistline and the arms here. It's a nice open rotation. It's an exhale breath to get there and an inhale breath to come back to center. Exhale back. Feels good to twist. And then let's let ourselves just stretch forwards. Let the, the spine relax for a moment, just folding forwards over the thighs. And then coming back up, we're gonna move into our reverse abdominals. The good news is we do not have to put our thighs in the straps because we don't have any straps. So let's just go ahead and lie back and draw those legs up <clears throat> into tabletop. So if you need to leave your head, neck, and chest down, that's totally fine, but I still encourage you to interlace your hands behind the head just to give yourself a little bit of support to the neck. And then on your exhale, if you can curl forwards, let's go ahead and draw the abdominal wall down and curl up. On the inhale breath, we'll stretch those legs forwards. Exhale, pretend you're pulling against those springs as you draw the thighs back to you. You're dragging those legs against resistance. Let's go for three more. Exhale, six. Maybe curl a little deeper. Seven. And eight. And then lowering it down. Take the arms 
hands wide. Separate the feet about mat distance apart. This is just a quick stretch here. Let's let both of the knees drop to the left. We feel a nice stretch up over the right hip. Maybe you get even up into the abdominals here. I'm feeling that a little bit. Nice bit into the lower back. And then let's go ahead and drop to the right so we feel a bit of a stretch through that left side body. And then let's come back center and bring ourselves up for a little stretch. So mermaid, I know we all miss this one. I can tell you I surely do. And so we're gonna find ourselves sitting in that little kind of Z position here. Let's have our um, left knee kind of pointing out this way. So this is the way that we're side bending for our big side over is to the left. So we could pretend we're all facing the big mirror here. Let's bring that hand down and on the in breath, we're gonna come over into our side bend. You can let the elbow drop to the floor and then coming back up. And again, take an in breath, big side over and back. Let's go for three more, inhale. And two, nice breath in, I'm trying to let go of this tension in my neck. And last one, inhale, big stretch over. And then let's track just kind of right over um, the left knee. So we're taking a diagonal mermaid stretch. It's the closest I can really get you to maybe what our down stretch feels like, just walking our body forwards and relaxing into the floor here as far as you can. And then let's bring ourselves back up and we'll switch the position of our legs. So we're gonna go into our right side. Okay, and so arms are reaching and let's come over, letting that right elbow touch down, big stretch through our left side body and back up, soft shoulders. Inhale over, and exhale back, and three, and four, breathing in, and five. Good stuff. Okay, so let's track kind of square our body right up over that right knee point and let's walk ourselves forwards and try to relax the body into the floor. A couple breaths here. And walk ourselves back up. So moving into what would be our hip flexor and hamstring stretch. We'll go for a little kneeling lunge, a little bit like a runner's lunge. Um, if you need to roll your mat up or your towel, whatever you're working on to just create a little bit more padding for your knee, that's fine. Um, grab a pillow off the couch, whatever. Um, so let's come up onto our knees. So we're just in a nice kneeling position. We're gonna step the right leg forwards first. Nice big step forwards. And we're, we're going to stretch into the left hip flexor. So I want you to think about lunging forwards into that right knee. So this is where you might feel like you need a little bit of um, cushion under that left kneecap. You can come as far forwards into that as feels comfortable for you. Let's try not to twist or hike the hips. So we're trying to, to square up. You can even bring your fingertips down to the floor and just hold that for a moment, feeling the front of our left hip kind of moving up into the psoas. The abdominals are drawn in. We're trying to soften those shoulders. And then we're gonna shift our weight so that we kind of rock back onto the right heel, because I fall over. And um, just think about hands on floor for a little bit of support. Maybe you can achieve a diagonal in the spine. I know if you're tight in the hamstrings, you might feel very round here, but just do your best to lengthen out through the sits bones and flex that right foot up off the floor. Go to the other side. So we're gonna take a nice big step forward with the left foot. And let's go ahead and lunge into that. Trying to open up through the right hip flexor now. 
Hands can come to the floor. You can continue to rest the hands on the thigh if you feel like you've gone as far as you can. Do what feels right for you. Might feel different in a couple days too. All right, and let's go ahead and rock back onto that left heel. Flexing the foot now. Hands can be on the floor. We're trying to get that nice diagonal back. Head in alignment with spine. So try not to drop that head forward. Soften shoulders. Reach through that tail. Lots of length here. All right. So coming back onto the knees, we're gonna play with the idea of balance control. Um, we're just gonna have to kind of rock our plank a little bit on our own. So let's bring the hands to the mat, shoulder distance apart, maybe slightly wider. Um, nice spread fingers and walk the feet back, toes flexed and find yourself in a plank. Let's visualize our feet on the foot bar, our hands on the shoulder blocks. Maybe you tuck the pelvis just slightly to get a deeper abdominal connection. Soft shoulders, long neck, and let's start to just rock that plank forwards and then push it back. So in this case, we're gonna feel kind of the leverage coming from our feet rather than our arms, but our arms are just gonna provide support as our body moves forwards and back. Really zipping up those abdominals here. Good. Last one. And then knees come to the floor and we're gonna take a nice resting pose, sitting the hips back over the heels. idea of upstretch. So think of our pike to plank exercise. Um, so you're going to have to find a position of hands and feet that allows you to move from what feels a bit like an upstretch position down into your plank. So imagine that those heels are wedged up against your shoulder blocks and we're lifting those abdominals up, up, up to the spine and then pressing out into those springs finding plank. Pike it up. Press it out. Let's go for about three more. Let's think about pulling that navel all the way through into the lower back. Good control in our movement. All right. Once again, let's drop those knees down. Set the hips back over the heels. And then we're gonna come into prone position on the mat as we would um, on our long box. So let's start with um, pulling straps number two, okay? So coming onto your tummy, and by the way, you can always put like a little rolled up towel just on your ribs, kind of underneath your chest just to get a, a better comfort level on the floor. So if today you start to think, I wish I had my long box, um, you can create a little separation from the floor with just a little rolled up dish towel. So coming down, let's take our arms out to the T. Wiggling around here trying to find the right spot. And let's try to hover the nose off the floor. So we've already got a little bit of extension in the spine. And then we're gonna draw pinkies to hips as we elevate that heart space. And lower down. Let's inhale on the lift. So we breathe our bodies up and then lower down. Remember that we wanna engage the abdominals from our underside, it's what's supporting our spine. So as we're lifting, we're not just bending into the curve of the lower back, we're really gathering up those abdominals like you could slide a little piece of paper underneath your tummy on the floor. You also wanna think of where your head is landing in this exercise, so you don't wanna feel like you're wrenching the head up. Just keep the back of the neck nice and long and smooth. It's just a continuation of your spine. Let's go for one more. And if you're feeling like 
the pinkies to the hips doesn't work for you, remember that next time you've got that smaller range of motion to work from, maybe like a little six inch crack the walnut action through the shoulder blades. So coming down for a moment here, let's maybe rest the forehead on the forearms just for a brief moment. And then we're gonna move into our um, breaststroke. Okay, so from here, let's draw um, the hands back on the mat, maybe just forwards of the shoulders and about as wide as the shoulders. Gather the abdominals in, elevate those forearms off the mat so you're floating here. And on the in-breath, we're gonna reach forwards and keep breathing in as you lift the heart space and exhale breath let's lower down. If you need more breath, just take it. All I want you to do is be breathing um, well here. I don't want you to feel like you're breath holding. I don't want you to be distracted by the breath. So let's just take nice, even, big, long inhales and exhale. Stretch it forwards, lift. And lower down. Let's go for two more. Reaching and lowering. And last one, lift and lower. Good. Pushing yourself up to your hands and knees. Um, we don't have our lovely long boxes to work our standing cat stretch, but we can do a cat stretch here on the floor. So let's bring our hands down underneath our shoulders, knees under our hips, and on the exhale breath, let's round the spine, looking towards the thighs. And on the inhale breath, let's lift the heart and drop the hips. Good, exhale breath, we round. And inhale, shoulders relax as we sway the back. Just using this to loosen up after that back extension. done. From here, let's use a forwards fold to stretch our spines for our final stretch today. So coming up to a standing position, think about widening your stance and bending the knees slightly, folding through the hip crease. Let's find the floor. Now, if finding the floor is not an option, find a counter, find a bed, find a couch, <laughs> whatever's closest to you, and just Try to walk those hands forwards as you pull the weight of the hips back behind the heels and feel that decompression in your spine. Let the ears maybe drop down between the biceps here so you're easy through the back of the neck, you're lifted through your abdominals. Your spine should feel just really long right now. You can create more length with your breath. And then let's soften and roll our spines back up. All right, everybody, I hope you feel really good. I hope you feel like you maybe got a little reformer workout and we'll be working to create more content for you um, weekly. Um, we take turns coming in and sneaking away from the kids to build classes for you and it's a really nice break. So we're happy to be here. Um, if you have requests, throw them into the comments or send us an email and we'd love to put together classes that help you and work for you while we can't be together in person. So everybody take care and we'll see you soon.